Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from in the world. Um, we're back, we're back, we've been off for a month. I say off for a month, I'm not actually doing anything, I've not worked, I've been at home. So there we go. Um, we're, we're back with another Best Burgers video. So this is the very, very end of round one. We have four more burgers that we're going to do in this video, so we're going to draw those out in a second. Um, and, uh, and then Thor's going to help us do that, apparently. Okay, you pick the first one, buddy. Um, so we have four left, like I said, um, and uh, we're going to get the two winners from those, and then we will move into round two for the future videos. So if you have not seen these before, um, then uh, go back and watch all the other ones. I'll put the link at the top here um, for the first one. And if you have seen them before, then you know what's coming. We are going to rate these burgers. These are all meat-free burgers. And, uh, well, let's just get stuck in, shall we? So the first one that Beth has pulled out. Corn Ultimate. Corn We've got Ultimate, ultimate that one, haven't we? burgers. I think it should be all right. I, I recall them being quite good. And the corn one is going to be up against the No Bowl burgers. So these are the ones that are from Iceland, but they are more recently in Asda as well. Uh, there might be other super big apples, but we know them from Iceland. Um, so we have Core Ultimate against the Noble Burgers from Iceland. And, uh, well, by process of elimination, the last two. Green Cuisine. And Meatless Farm, which is the uh, Morrison's one, I believe, isn't it? Actually, I think the same thing yeah. Strange with Morrison's. Morrison's. Morrison's, I think yeah. you can get them. But again, you maybe, you maybe you can get those in other ones as well. So there we go. We have Corn versus no ball and we have green cuisine versus meatless farm so uh, we'll get cooking those and uh, you can have a sleep can you we'll get cooking those and we'll be back with you in a second all right okay we, we have our first two burgers um <laughs> <laughs> we have our first two burgers it's just stay in line like every single day <laughs> um We've done it in the order that we pull them out, so we have the corn and we have the, uh, which one are order? That is the corn. No, noble. And that is the noble, yes. So we have the corn, we have the noble, and then we'll move on to the uh, the other two afterwards. We'll do all four literally in one night. So we're having half each this time. Um, as you can see, Beth's got nothing on her plate currently, so that is the uh, the plan, so we don't overfill ourselves. So, we'll uh, start by cutting these up, and I'll do you a quick, uh, a quick inside the burger. There we are. Make sure that's done. Okay. Let's move the other So that's your, uh, that's your quad. Piece of spinach stuck to my finger. It's First thoughts? Size. Yeah, it looks, it looks decent, doesn't it? Good size. The texture looks like it'll be good. I like I said, we haven't had it for a long time, have we? No. The corn one, but... Um, I feel like some restaurants, like quite a few restaurants use this. Big size, I don't know which one. Oh, it's bigger. No, because it's closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So we have the corn, we have the noble, um, and uh, previous times we've been doing this, we've been, we've been, we talked about this after I've ever seen the video, don't we? we always forget. I've remembered this time. Every time we do it, we always, do one and then rate it and then do the other and rate it. But then when we have the second one, we go, we kind of think about the ratings we're given the first one. So I think we should do it, the way we always say it after each video, we'll have a little bit of each yeah. and then do the ratings. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So um, hopefully this will be a more interesting uh, scoring because we can actually compare the two properly side by side rather than doing one and the other, which uh, I think is probably a bit of a mistake. So we might yeah. cover some that um, might not necessarily have, have been the worst ones, but. Here we go, let's start with the, uh, the corn. Let's dig in. Size. Size. Um, <coughs> the corn one actually, looking at it, it wasn't as big as I expected. It's um, it's really you know ultimate burger. 
you'd probably expect a bit. Compared to their normal bigger. size burger, though, it is pretty yeah, ultimate, yeah. to be fair. Though the ones are like this big. Yeah. Um, I haven't had the two together. The corn one is wider, the no bowl is thicker. Neither of them were actually disappointing in terms no, of size, no. I don't think. So I'm going to go uh, for corn, just because doing corn to begin with. So I'm going to go uh, seven. I'm going to say seven. I was quite pleasantly happy with that. Mm, I'm going to go six. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about this, didn't you? You're, yeah. you're not going to do the same scores as me this time. <laughs> um, and uh, taste. Taste, uh, that one's got a good like meaty flavour, the corn one. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I know obviously we're doing it as different categories, but I, I think the taste texture combo works better in yeah. the corn than it does in the noble. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll explain that in my score when I do the noble one as well. Um, but the taste of corn, I'm going to go, I'm going to give it a six. It was, it was good. It wasn't blowing me away, amazing top of the board kind of thing, but it was, it was okay. I'm going to go seven, I think. Okay. Uh, texture. Um, seven again. Yeah, I, I, I was quite, I, I'm going to seven. I think seven I think is a good, a good score yeah. for that one. Um, I, it's, uh, to me, for me, it's, like I said, the taste texture combo ticks the boxes really well. Um, it's got that kind of chewy edge to it. Um, Mixed with the flavour that it had, I think it was quite yeah. pleasant. Yeah, seasoned well. It was pleasant. Um, so, sevens across the board for that one. And finally, the price. Um, you know what, it's been that long since I bought them. I, I'm, in my head, I can't remember what they were. Where did I buy the corn ones for? I bought them from Morrison's, they were £2.50. There you go. Because I remember the, all the Morrison's were £2.50 except for one. Um, so yeah, they were £2.50. For two. For two, yeah. Um, again, same as all the other ones that kind of came out at two pound fifty. That is, that is probably the average pricing across the board. I would say two fifty, three pound. Yeah. Uh, for two parties, I mean, yeah, it's okay. I mean, six. I'm gonna say six because it's just in banging the, the average in the middle. So. I'm gonna say five. Okay. Five is in the middle. So there you yeah, go. Out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what five? Well, yeah. yeah okay. Five. All right. Well, we're starting from one. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair. <enough>. But. <laughs> Um, so it's, yeah, six, five, okay, that's fine. Scores! <laughs> so, noble. Um, size, uh, I'm, I'm going to be exactly the same score. I gave it a seven for the corn. I have to give the roll the same because it was thinner. It was sort of thinner, sorry. It was, the thickness uh, was really, really good. It was, the thickness was really good. But it was it wasn't as wide as the the corn. So for that same score for me. Yeah. Seven. I'm gonna go seven. Taste. Taste. It's a. You know what? As soon it's as I bit into it, it again. was completely different flavour. Really mm -hmm. completely different flavour. Um, it was really odd. Like it was it was almost forced on you. Now what's interesting is that we said exactly the same thing about the Linda McCartney one. But I actually really liked the the, the forced yeah. flavour from Linda McCartney. I yeah. don't enjoy it as much in this. No. And I think that might be part of the texture. Um, and I, again, I'll explain that in a second. The, the, so... Uh, it's a lot of softer, isn't five. it? Five, yeah. I'm going to leave it at five. Um, I might be quite harsh there, but it was... Because no, it, was, yeah, it, it wasn't unpleasant, but... I, I think, think five, yeah. I think that was fair. Texture. You hit the nail on the head. It was really soft. Like, you bit into it and it like melted. Yeah. Um, which is not what you want. I'll be honest, it really wasn't. Um, and that that was a real letdown for me, I think. I don't remember the Noble being like that either. I was uh, going to say, in my head, I don't recall the Noble ever being like that. I but, feel like we really, really rated people. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we, did. <laughs> we literally went to Iceland and bought so many of them like, in a row just because we liked them you so much. You used for our baby shower, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Um, <sighs> texture, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, Noble, but I'm going to give you a three. It was pretty disappointing, oh, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, it was, it was, like I said, it was mushy. It was like just biting into mush. I'm gonna go four. <laughs> I might have been really harsh there. I apologize, Iceland. Mm -hmm. It was actually quite pleasant, but. The rest of the range is good. Um, pork pork <laughs> is good. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so, uh, what did we say? Size, uh, price, price. Uh, these are, I actually got these ones from Asda. Um, 
rather than Iceland, but I'm, I, I believe they're the same price, and both are £2. Um, I think a pound a party for what they are was, was, was reasonable. Yeah. Would I buy them again after, after doing all this? Absolutely not. <laughs> Is my response to that? I wouldn't much rather buy some of the other ones. Yeah. Um, yeah I on the budget, maybe. Well, like I said, for, if I'm just looking at the price of the Noble, compared to what it gives you a pound per patty, five. I'm going to go five as well. Okay, there we go. Um, I think it was the texture that let it down for the new ball, so I think we're pretty sure it's uh, sure, pretty sure, that the corn is through there. I don't have to do a count in my head. Um, the corn burger, corn on top is definitely through uh, to the next round, so well done, corn. I'm going to, put, I'm going to leave those for, for the moment just so I don't spoil the next yeah. session. <laughs> um, so let's just put those to the side and we're going to bring in. The next competitor. Do you remember which order? I remember what they look like. Kind of. You sure? Yeah, I can tell because. No, I can't. That's the green cuisine. It's yeah, got the, it's got, it's got the lines, it's got the grill lines, yeah. the fake grill lines in it. Um, okay, so we have the. Uh, Meatless Farm and the Green Cuisine. I do think we've had both of these before. I can't remember. I last night. We've had the Meatless Farm. Farm. Not for yeah. a long time if we have. No. It must be a couple of years uh, since we last had the Meatless Farm. So, it could be an interesting one. We really don't know uh, what this is going to be like. So, we'll just and that's a good thickness, doesn't it? Chop into the uh, Meatless Farm first and we'll do the uh, Green Cuisine. Green Cuisine we have had more recently. Um, I'll reserve my comments and judgment. Mm -hmm. And base it purely on this matchup. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to dig into the cream cuisine first. Looking at it, it's, I'll be honest, it doesn't look very appealing. That's my first observation. It's not the most appealing of, of them all. Um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, you know, like when you chop into that kind of weird MDF wood. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that kind of looks like. <laughs> Sorry. An interesting one. I'll be honest, I don't. Mm, well, I was pleasantly surprised by both of those. Yeah, I was. I'm going to say the. I might have been a bit harsh to the green cuisine before. That was. <laughs> that was. That was. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't lying. That is what it looked like when I chopped it in half. <laughs> but. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's do some rating. Let's, let's, let's go for it and see what comes up. Because I mean, this 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 one could go either way. I think to be honest. Yeah. Um, size. Uh, what were we doing first, Queen? Green cuisine. Yeah. Um, size, it's, it's quite small, isn't it? It's probably one of the yeah. smallest, I think. Um, that is probably what I'll let it down uh, and probably the most. Yeah. yeah. In terms of size, just because, like I said, it is one of the smallest ones, I'm going to go low, I'm going to go three. Um, it is that is pretty small. The bread, I'm trying to think which one we said it about, the bread to burger ratio. Which one was it said? I don't remember. I can't remember either. Right, someone can scroll back through and let us know in the comments. Um, which one we said it about, but the bread to burger ratio was not amazing. Um, that's why I give it a three. Uh, taste? Green cuisine? Taste? I was really, really surprised. Uh, again, by it's okay. Um, so seven. So I, I, it was okay, but for me it was quite plain. There, was, there wasn't, in terms of seasoning, there wasn't, there wasn't anything great in it. Um, I'm going to go five. I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Yeah. Speaking as it comes into my head, which is the dangerous thing. I think it's because I had low expectations, <laughs> I was like, Yeah, maybe, right. maybe. I kind of went there and kind of thinking <laughs> in my head that it wasn't fair anyway, but there we go. Um, texture? Texture is where I thought it was quite good. Yeah. I thought the texture was good. It had the right chewiness on it, so I I'm going seven. to go for a seven. Yeah, a seven for me. For the texture and finally price the green cuisine. Uh, they are too fair. They are regularly on offer, but for, if they're not on offer, they are two pound fifty. Um, again, given what you get, I don't think it's amazing. So I'm, I'm going to have to score it a bit lower. I think. I'm have to yeah. Go for four. Yeah, we'll go for four. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Scores. 
Um, and we'll move on to the meatless foam. Uh, size. A little bit bigger than the green cuisine, six. but not massively bigger. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I can't go much higher than that. To be honest, I, don't, I don't think I can go higher than a six, so I will also say six. Um, taste. Again, it similar a, to the last matchup. It was a really different It was taste, a completely it? different taste. Yeah, but it was, actually, both of them kind of, I don't really remember what meat tastes like, but both <laughs> of them were quite meaty. It's funny that we're scoring this based on the meatiness of the burgers. You can't remember what they taste like, and I, in my head, I'm, I, I, well, <laughs> I, I know probably more recently, but again, not for a while. But um, th there was almost a smokiness to the meat farm one. Yeah, Did you find that? Yeah. I was, I was tasting it. The first bite I got, I was like, wow, that's probably really smoky. I probably could have been doing like a wood chip barbecue. Um, and then the second and third bite went in, and it wasn't quite as nice after that. <laughs> to which, being completely honest, it wasn't. Um, I will have to go, I think, for a six, because like I said, the, the first bite was actually very pleasant. I, I probably could have scored an eight, but then after the second and third bites, it brought it down. I'm going to go seven. I thought it was nice. It was, it was nice. It was nice. Um, texture. Um, texture. Probably very similar, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go seven. It was very similar yeah, to the green cuisine. Seven. It was, um, wasn't fantastic, wasn't terrible. So yeah, so um, they had they had that kind of chewiness that yeah, the, so, the burger had. So yeah, that's it. Um, um, price, yeah. Um, meatless farm. I got from Morrison. How much was it from Morrison's? Two fifty. Because again, it was Morrison's. They're all two fifty except for, for except for the six ounce ones, which we'll see in round two. Um, yeah, two fifty. Again, absolutely fine. I would. I think if we're looking at these I, two here. I think here, they're quite decent actually for size. Yeah, I think if we're looking yeah. at these two here. They're both the same price. From what we've just said, which would you prefer to buy? Meatless Farm. Meatless Farm. There's your answer. I don't have to put the scores on there. We've just answered the. the this I'll give it a one. seven for price. Um, I will score it a six. For price, just for score's sake, I will score it a six. Yeah. Um, there were things that let both of those down a little bit. Meatless Farm was the lesser of two evils. Um, no, I thought both of those were good. But they were they were they were pleasantly surprising. I think I I built it up my head so much that the green cuisine was quite bad from the last time I had it. Um, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. No. So there we go. Neither of them were bad. Like I said, green cuisine I think has just missed out on size. Really, it's probably the only thing that's let it down. Um, other than that, it was very similar. Um, different taste altogether, but not unpleasant. But it was a size for me, the product we put down. So, um, meatless farms through. You can try, try and have some burgers, don't you? Or is that spinach you're dying up? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, from this video, we have the corn um, ultimate that's gone through and also the meatless farm as well. So, we now have our seven burgers. I don't know why I've done it in 14 burgers. I should have done 16, really, but I couldn't find another two. Um, we have seven burgers into round two, so we will try and mix it up a little bit. Um, we'll obviously pull the names out of our hat again, so it's not obviously uh, all the stuff against... Um, well, the, well, it'll just be a complete mishmash of burgers again. Um, we'll try and spice it up a little bit. We can probably think of something different to do for round two. Um, we'll we'll yep. try and do something a little bit special. We'll try and get it out as soon as possible. Well, yeah, 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 I was going to say, we'll be on to the next we one. We just got a bit um, of burgers last We did, time. yeah. I think that's what we were excited about, we're we kind of didn't make any videos or anything, so... Um, family time. I think family time. Um, but uh, we're back, providing these videos for you. So uh, if you did like this video, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down the bottom. Uh, give us a, a, a follow. Give us a follow. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, <laughs> hit that notification <laughs> bell as well, so you get um, all, your, uh, all your inbox stuff filled with our our future videos. There you go. Um, if you want to watch any of our other stuff, obviously you'll see at the end of the video, we've been to a uh, theme park and we've got some Disney stuff on there as well. So have a, have a watch if you want to. And uh, like I said, give us a subscribe. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, Thor can have whatever he wants to eat because he's hanging up these burgers. So bye everyone. We're going to finish these off. See you later.